everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to talk about our top five high school resources that we enjoy doing together. So this is my recent graduate, Peyton. Hello. And I asked her to join me so that we can share the resources that we enjoy the most during her high school years. So at this time, I was trying to move away from a lot of box curriculum and do more of like book studies, like literature study kind of things, um, life skills. And so we didn't purchase a lot of box curriculum because that's just not what you were into and that's not what I was into. Um, but we did do a few. So I'll go ahead, we'll go back and forth. Okay. You'll share what you liked and then I'll share <laughs> why because they are different. Yeah, okay. So you could go ahead first. Okay. Uh, I think the first thing that I, I really loved was my astronomy. So it was this book. It's from um, uh, Master Books, right? Master Books, yeah. yeah. So it's this class. So that was the answer key. And so I, I don't know if I made it to the moon. I did read this on my own, but I did do more of the Stargazer's Guide to the Night Sky. This is what I was doing most of the time, and it was just showing you just like all the planets, how big they are, the stars, um, just getting you familiar with, with space, and then also how you could, if you wanted to see the planets or the stars, what technology you could use. So there's like a whole chapter just for like what telescopes to use, what to buy if you want to see it. And I've always loved astronomy, so this was this was really fun. And you still read that now, even after yeah, being I, out of high school for I, a year. Yeah, I kept it because I just really I loved it. And there was like, oh, there's going to be like an eclipse here. There's going to be something special here. And I was like, oh, write these down so we can see them. Yeah. Because um, we did see like a, what did we see, like a blood moon? Mm -hmm. We saw a blood moon once and I was like. They actually <laughs> woke up at what, 4 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, 4 a.m. And we saw that from our window. So it was like. Just keep this for all the upcoming events. So, yeah. And this is a survey of astronomy by Masterbooks. Yeah. And those are the books that come with it. Yeah. Okay, so my first one would be from the website. It's a free life skills class from plainandnotsoplain.com. And what I love about it, I'll put up a, a screenshot of it so you guys can see, is it's all online. You can print out... Um, Remember you print out little surveys mm -hmm. um, each week so I make sure that you were doing what you were supposed to do. So it's yes. a, like a, a checklist of things for them to learn but also to do like how to change a tire or how to clean your house from top to bottom, how to prepare a meal and budget and all that kind of, th all that kind of stuff. And then there were sheets for the parents to fill out when you know your child has you know completed it and you can follow along with them as well. And some of the things you know every day it's a different thing to do that they mark off so that by the end of the week you had completed the task and I'm very much a checklist person you are now yes. you weren't then no you she wasn't a planner type of person but now she's like really meticulous and plans out all her days mm -hmm. every single day uh, but back then she wasn't so maybe it was this course it was the that course. <laughs> It was Maybe it was like, I don't know, it's just age and maturity. I, that, think, that was, uh, but, I think that was it. <laughs> but yeah, but this course, I, th I think it's fantastic. I'm going to go over it with my boys as well. It's free. Um, and we'll, of course, leave a link down to all these. Next pick. Uh, my next pick would be these book study that we did from the Seven Sisters. Yes. Um, this one I actually really enjoyed. I love books and it was a bunch of books that were basically classic books like books you're supposed to read in high school so the ones that I did read were 1984 by George Orwell which I've actually really wanted to read for a while I really enjoyed it it's crazy it was crazy it was it was so good though and it's just like it just fit perfectly with the time they were in it's just a great book um, and then this one I didn't think I would like but I did was Lord of the Flies while I was reading it I was like Oh, I hate, I was like, I hate this book. And at the same time, I'm like, oh my gosh, what did they do? Oh no. Yeah. So this I was, was like that in high school too. Yeah, right? it was actually really good and I kept it because I was like, this is actually really good and it just was crazy. And then this one started off a bit slow for me, but I did finish it. This is Fahrenheit 451. Um, this one was actually really good. At Sometimes it was kind of confusing, but sometimes when I can't understand a book, I usually go to... 
I can't remember where I go, but there are sites where they will give you like a summary of like the chapters and and like in words that you can like kind of understand because you know these books are a lot older so sometimes the way that they phrase things is a little weird mm -hmm. and sometimes you need an explanation but you can still like understand but this was actually pretty good i don't know if it was cliff notes or no. what but we'll find the website and yeah we'll link that below if we can find that um so that kind of segues into one of my favorite studies that we did was a Christian book literature studies also from seven sisters homeschool.com uh, so for that one I did like classic literature one year I don't know if it was like 10th grade and yeah. I think 11th grade or 12th grade I did all Christian literature um, studies from the seven sisters and I thought they were fantastic like I'm so glad I found the website I actually met them at a homeschool convention here in Ohio that me and you came to, we flew yeah. to. Years um, I ago. met, yeah, it was years ago. I met Seven Sisters there and just fell in love with their website. And you have to check them out. If you haven't heard of them before, check out their literature studies, which takes me into my third thing. I guess I'll just keep rolling. Are their movie studies? So this one became a huge movie buff. I think it really took off in 11th grade. 12th grade I'm not sure what grade like but 10th grade yeah. yeah but the seven sisters they have movie studies where it's just like the book studies so you watch a movie you answer the questions you write a paper it's more for high school students of course yeah um they did have they did have I do remember they did have a section for like if you're in middle school this is what you can do and it was always something easy easier easier, easier. Yeah. yeah it was like just answer these few questions but for high school it was like write an essay yeah and because she didn't love writing i thought this would be great read a book answer the questions and then it was write a paper watch yeah. the movie answer the questions write a paper right. just so that we can get that practice in of writing because i knew it'd be more a little a little more enjoyable than doing a writing curriculum yes. and i thought this was fantastic for our 11th 12th grade year i think we might have done it in, in 10th grade as well um but yeah i think they're they're fantastic so if you're looking for something like that for your child who doesn't really enjoy writing that much this might be a great alternative thank you guys so much for joining us we'll leave a link to everything we mentioned in this video down below